Hello, welcome to part two of the Easy Deep Sky Astrophotography Guide. This is using just your camera or a tripod. There's no need for a telescope or a tracking mount or any other expensive equipment other than your pretty expensive cameras, of course. Um, if you're looking for part one, because you found this on YouTube, part one doesn't have a video, so you won't find it on YouTube. But if you go to the website at learnastronomyhq.com, uh, you'll be able to find out how to take the pictures in the first place before you move on to part two, which is all about stacking your images. Now on YouTube, uh, if you've got a PC, I'd recommend using Deep Sky Stacker and we have a video uploaded on how to use that as well. Uh, this video is on using Regim, which is a free to use, a free to download software that you can buy for Mac users. Um, if you don't have access to Parallels or Bootcamp as a Mac user uh, and can't use Deep Sky Stacker, then this is an alternative. Uh, Regim does have some bugs though on the Mac which hopefully will be ironed out in the version 3 and thanks to Andreas uh, the software developer for all his help with this. So you need to get Regim up and running first in a Mac and you'll need Java to do this because this software runs in Java. Uh, if The old Macs used to have Java built in and the modern ones don't so you'll need to check that you've got it and if you haven't got Java on your computer then you'll need to download it from Adobe. The way to check is you can look at system preferences and when that comes up you should see it along the bottom. There it is, Java. So we can get rid of that. So to start Regim up you're going to need to open a terminal window. So you need to go to utilities and find terminal. There it is. There's your terminal window opening up. And the way to get it started is type CD for change directory and then spacebar. Then click and drag regim in and hit return. And then type sh spacebar regim.sh. Press return and it should start to load up. Here we go. Now, regim is a nice piece of software for stacking your images. It's a good alternative to Deep Sky Stacker. Um, but on the Mac it does have a few bugs and we'll go through some of those. So once you've loaded it up you need to go to pre-processing and then press pre-processing again and this brings up a nice dialog window here. Next thing to do is find your pictures that you've taken using part one of the guide. Here we've got Messier 3, a 200mm focal length and an ISO 12800. So we open up this folder and what you can see here is we've got lights which is the pictures of the object itself, darks which are the calibration and bias which are calibration frames. You can see there's no box here for bias you, so um, you need to use lights and darks and you'll, if you look at part one it will show you how to take the darks, dark frames. Now the first problem with Regim on the Mac is that the raw images particularly for a .nef which is what the Nikon uses is bugged and doesn't work. Uh, as I say this should be ironed out in the latest version which is due out soon. So you'll have to convert your raw images into something it can use and here you can see that I have, I have my raw images here are all .nef files so we've had to change those to TIFF files and in here you can see all the lights are all TIFF files. Now they're all shaded out until you change your file format to TIFF but you can see you can also download JPEGs and FITs uh, but JPEGs generally have processing attached to them, so they're not ideal for stacking processes. Uh, you, what you want to do is raw images, fits or TIFFs. So here we'll select TIFF. Now to transfer all your files from raw to TIFF, you can do that in the Mac by opening them all up in Preview, for instance, and then export them from Preview as a TIFF uh, file, and that will export them all. So you need to select all these, so the way to do that is Command-A, and that should select all of them for us and then click add to images up here and they should appear in the images box there they all are next thing we want to do is add our calibration frames which are darks these are useful at trying to reduce the noise because um, short exposures and lots of frames taken with high ISO ratings produces a lot of noise so go to dark tiffs again select all of those and add those to the darks and there they are there Next thing to do is look at this box here and, this, and tells Regim what you want to do with these images. So you, you want the images to be calibrated. You don't need deblooming for, for this purpose. 
you do want to register them. I recommend switching preview off uh, unless you want to go through all 350 pictures and check that they're all okay and that you want them stacked. And do combination is the stacking part. Having done all that, you then come down to OK and uh, away it goes. And it starts working through them all. Now this takes a long time to do, so uh, we'll leave it alone there. Part three is going to be processing the image when you have it. There's going to be lots of sort of simple processing using free to use software. Uh, we won't be using Photoshop for this purpose. Okay, I hope that was useful.